kitchen. Yes, I changed my hair. I'm feeling sexy, you guys. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, over there. <laughs> okay, let me stop joking. Anyways, thank you for coming and watching me. Um, today I'm going to cook barbecue chicken from the oven. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this macaroni. It's like a potato salad, but it's going to be macaroni instead. I don't have potatoes and I do cook uh, based on budgeting and timing and you know all that kind of stuff. So you will be seeing a lot of exchanges. Oh I don't have this but I do have that. You know that's the type of cook that I am because I'm a mom. I'm busy full time. Work all that. Anyways well I have some time and I found for you guys. I'm trying to work on making more videos at least two times a week. Um, I want to try every day but I can't. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to do a barbecue chicken, oven-based. Then I'm going to show you guys how to do that macaroni salad, a regular barbe canned barbecue beans with the ground beef in it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to possibly do maybe some yams on the side. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I flow and how much time I got, quiet time that is. I'll be back in just a sec. Thank you. We're going to start by cutting the chicken. We're going to use a chicken thigh. You can either skin or skin off, it doesn't matter. Either way it goes, it's going to come off. I'm going to try to hold on to it. You see the back of this? This is a chicken thigh. I'm going to split this in half. It's To me, it works. I like the way it cooks. It tastes better. It even kind of gives you like a wing effect. I don't know. I just like it. small piece better. It's smaller. It's bitier. It's bitier. It's tastier. We're going to cut it in half, okay? That's the way I do my thighs. I don't like big, sloppy. I love thighs because of their, their taste. We're going to take some of that skin even off. Possibly all of it. So we're not frying it. Leave a little bit on, you know. A little piece like that. You're going to cut from the back alongside. The bone is right there. Cut alongside. Flip it over. Hold it. And cut through. That's good enough. I'm going to do this. Um, keep cutting on these. I'll be back in just a second to show you how to season it. Okay, we're going to start the seasoning. We're going to start with the Tony's uh, Creole seasoning. And that's in a green container. You guys are aware of it. Excuse my nails. Yes, I need a fill. Well, just acrylic. I don't use nails. Um, and the garlic powder. My bomb is favorite. Yes, that's the word. Yes, it is. Um, a little pepper. We're going to do barbecue. Now, I told you I cook a certain way. So it's always fast and in a hurry. You must keep in mind that I'm very busy. Who has time? The baby's screaming. Food needs to be done. Dogs are barking. You know, it's just a lot going on. You're going to add some barbecue sauce already in there. You're going to put this in the oven. You can do whatever you want when it's in the oven. You're not putting it over flame. I would advise anybody to do that. You're going to add just a little bit. This is just lemon juice I got from Walmart. You can use any um, honey that you want. We're going to use water anyways, if you think about it. Just a few splashes. Probably like a, uh, I want to say half of a cup of lime juice. Half of a half of a cup. I know that's ghetto. No, I didn't mean it. We got some orange, I mean some um, onions and some bell pepper. You can put as much as you want. Don't worry about it. You can never have enough of each. I've already used my garlic powder. I'm going to mix this up. I usually do it with my hands, but I'm feeling kind of bougie today. I don't know. I'm just feeling real sexy. I think it's these bangs, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more of this Creole because for some reason, I can, I don't know, but I can cook from the smell. And if I don't smell it, I pretty much can just tell it's going to be a wreck. Alright you guys, this is my pan. Don't mind those stains. Those are literally stains. I don't know how that happened. Um, this is the chicken. We're going to just, you know, drop them alongside each other. And these are thighs, you guys. This is budgeting cooking that I'm giving you guys. I'm not giving you guys regular cooking. I'm giving you guys pure budget. Struggle meals. You know, 
with a boss with with a boss you know a boss app a boss taste you know I have that taste but you know this is this is some some bougie on the budgeting budgeting on the bougie okay that's the chicken it looks very good might I say you see that you guys it's all seasoned and stuff all right look see these these onions and stuff we go we, we chopped up and threw it in here you guys gotta excuse me I'm talking kind of nervous I'm not even nervous I'm freaking hungry as hell okay is very important I put a little bit of water in there I might just do lemon juice instead of water I don't know lemon juice has more flavor or even trick chicken broth I want a sour taste I don't know I'm, I, if you guys if you haven't learned I like bold sour I don't really like uh, boringness anyways I don't want to say that's boring but anyways it's boring to me okay you guys look I'm gonna put a little butter in here old school like mama used to do it when she baked that chicken you feel me girl put that butter in there we gonna use no one we gonna use about a about a, at least a, at least four teaspoons the reason why is because you want that caramelizing you just want that taste you know um we can we can put a little bit more barbecue sauce on top i'm gonna get some foil I'm going to set the oven for 350. You know that's our temperature, people. I'm not a race. This is not a racist thing. But black people, you guys know. 350. We don't know shit else, but we know 350, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to put this in the oven, foil it down, drop it in the oven. With that being said, remember you guys, put it in the oven 350 for at least two hours. No more than two hours. I give it an hour and 30 minutes if you want to, you know, you're just too hungry, you just couldn't wait. But at least two hours, at least about, a, yeah, at least two hours on 350 because 350 is not that high. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, you guys, we're going to start on the uh, salad. I'm going to call this a fully loaded macaroni salad it's like a potato i'm going to use a lot of green onion that's up to you you guys my cooking the measurement is not really that extreme you can chop it up kind of big don't do it too small i mean it's up to you it depends on how you want to do it i'm going to chop mine mid kind of chunky slash small i don't know if that's a real word but okay going to use a little bit more I want to use at least because I want it all I want that I want to taste that onion all through this I do I really do I want like that crunch taste this is going to be a cold salad and it's very good and it's it's cheap um it's different that's what I like about it it's not just regular potato salad you can do it with potatoes too you guys I'm going to try to do that I'm going to do that in the next couple of weeks from now um Instead of mayonnaise with the fully loaded potato salad and the fully loaded macaroni salad, salad, you do not use mayonnaise. I repeat, do not use mayonnaise, okay? We're going to use sour cream instead because we're going off the potato recipe. That's about enough. It doesn't look like it. Wait a while. You know, because you want it kind of thick. We're going to use bacon bits. You guys can fry your own bacon, your turkey bacon, your turkey squash bacon, whatever you like. I'm going to use this. This is what I have in my kitchen today, okay? Use half. The rest is going on my little midnight salads. I'm going to start doing probably midnight snacks too. I do them, but I haven't did them consistently. Um, I, tend, I cook a lot. You wouldn't believe. I cook way more than these videos. We're going to do pepper. Uh-uh. See, I like to slay mine on the big side because I like a lot of taste. A little bit of garlic. Don't mind that beep and don't mind that TV, you guys. I'm just going to mix it up. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. You see that? We're not done yet. You want to let it sit and let that smoke from that bacon bit come off. I swear, you guys, this shit is fucking bomb as hell. We're going to use a little bit more seasoning. 
I was going to do pickles, but I forgot. Because you can make potato salad just like you, you know, the regular way and use freaking um, macaroni if you don't have potatoes. Shit, you know? And this is just regular craft macaroni. I'm going to even add the cheese. I'm ghetto, girl. Okay. Garlic. Just one tablespoon, a heavy tablespoon. And like I said, I said I'm going to still add the cheese. Yes, I am. Gigi, why are you adding the cheese? Because it's going to be cheesy. Why not? Who's going to waste this cheese? It's powdered cheese, but hey. Just a regular macaroni. I always have the box ones around too. At night, my baby eats them, and you know, I eat them every now and then. I feel like a snack. I know I'm fat. I'm greedy. So, well, um, see that cheesy taste? You see that thickness is giving you? You guys, add if you have Parmesan cheese, um, that spaghetti cheese, that sprinkle cheese. Oh my god, I don't have any more. I'll think of the name in a minute. See that thickness? It's mom. We're not done though. We are going to add real cheese. And that's what makes this meal. Some people put this meal in the oven for a while and then it still could be served cold just to melt that cheese. I don't like doing that because it gets, I don't know, I just don't. <laughs> it becomes a little, uh, what they say, extra. I'm going to use this wing sauce, this Parmesan garlic wing sauce. I'm only going to use, oops, that was about two teaspoons, tablespoons. And that's for my wing sauce, but I want to put a little in there so you can give it that taste. That bold Parmesan taste because I didn't have any of the spaghetti cheese that you sprinkle. So I just used that. Okay, you guys, that's it for that. With this kind of recipe, with cooking period, you guys, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Don't take it too serious. You don't have to have the exact rec recipe. You know, don't be afraid to do your own thing, freestyle it. As long as that meat is cooked to the inside, that seasoning ain't too salty, it ain't too overwhelming. You see that, you guys? That's the salad. It looks good. Those bacon bits, I'm telling you guys, this shit is bomb. Um, okay, you guys, okay, 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 let me hurry up. We're going to do two teaspoons of butter. Right now, what I'm working on is just the beans. These are like kind of like barbecue beans, but they, oops, I'm sorry, you guys, I almost blew the kitchen up. I don't know, what was that about? Okay, what I did was I added two teaspoons, two uh, teaspoons of butter. Um, I put some leftovers, like, like two handfuls of leftover taco meat that I did from the night before. I'm sorry I didn't do a video on you guys on that one, but it was very good. I'm going to do it again. I did like a Taco Bell based soft taco recipe. Real basic, real bomb, real just, I feel like going to Taco Bell. I just cooked it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do green onion. I do have regular onion, but I like green onion in my beans. These are, I'm going to use the ranch beans because they have like a smoky taco taste to them. I don't know. I don't know. You guys have to look it up yourself and go buy some. That's what they did to me. I mean, that's how it is when I open them. They're already seasoned. They're called ranch style beans. I don't know exactly who they're by, but I'm going to show you in just a sec. We're going to get a spoon of um, garlic. This is already cooked. This is really basic. I'm going to use just a little bit of, gar uh, of uh, barbecue sauce. Kind of like a tablespoon, a little bit over. And these are the beans that I was telling you about, guys about. I don't know who makes them, but they have them at Dollar Tree, and they're bomb, you guys. They're seasoned. They're kind of big. Yeah, don't be afraid of it, though. They're good, though. They're really tasty. They have, like, a chili bean taste. So I was like, I already have taco meat. And, you know, taco seasoning and chili seasoning is about the same. You guys, you put that together. It's just like your basic barbecue beans but it's just pinto instead of the um, other uh, it's a different type of bean so you just let that cook it's already done you're just gonna let it warm basically put a top on there and let it cook do it I just want to thank you guys for even paying me any type of attention 
I'll be back in a sec. God bless. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget. I don't know. I know I'm talking like it's over, huh? It might be. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna come back. But please, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on the right hand side after you subscribe though. It's a little bell to the right. Tap that. Every time I drop a video, you're gonna see my face. My face, you guys. My baby's in there. I'm trying not to cut. Um, so you guys are gonna be seeing more of me. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my show. Goodbye. Alright, you guys. I'm back a couple hours later. And I'm just going to show you exactly how everything looks. This is the macaroni salad. That's the fully loaded potato macaroni and salad. It has bacon bits, green onions, um, a little bit of um, diced up um, garlic, cheese, um, sour cream, and a little bit of Parmesan dressing. And I think that's pretty much it. I made it earlier so you guys know how it looks. It's very good, you guys. Very good. And these are the beans. Just regular beans that I got out of the can. Some baked beans. And ground beef. You see that? Smoking hot. I added a little bit of sugar to them. To give it that nice good taste. And now we're going to do the chicken. That's the baked chicken, you guys, that I told you about. Barbecue chicken. And there you guys have it. That's barbecue chicken, and that's the fully loaded potato macaroni and salad. Let's zoom in on that. You see that? Bomb.com. And the beans. Barbecue beans with ground beef, you guys. Less with these two things. Well, all together, let's just say took about two hours, but the ultimate meal was just the barbecue. With all of that being said, you guys, excuse my daughter. Yes, we're going to go to the the park so she's happy and stuff with all of that being said you guys i want to thank you for watching my show and once again god bless you and don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment give me any suggestions of stuff that you guys want to cook and if i'm able to do it i'm going to do it trust and believe be on the lookout i'm going to be doing a lot of more videos soon thank you so much goodbye